Random games on Roblox are either really fun to play, or really boring to play. However, today, I'm going to show you some games that I think are great, and games that I think that you guys should check out. And the first game we have is called Outlaws on Robloxia, a game developed by Roblox user Sawsfy. And to summarize, it is a boss rush game where your goal is to fight and beat multiple bosses based around the classic Roblox. These bosses can either be very easy or very hard to deal with, and things can get very hectic and very messy. And okay, Outlaws of Roblox, yeah, I'm pretty sure there's like the lobby right now. We have to wait for uh, the game to end. Looks like there's some sort of cue ability here. If I click on it, it looks like in dash or something like that. Player model actually looks pretty cool. I like that a lot. A few moments later. And okay, hopefully this music is not copyrighted. Jason, Doom Gang, Medium, some other stuff. I'm gonna vote this guy here. This might be the hardest one. He is saucy mode. Okay, we're here. We're against Jason. Goddamn! Bro, this guy's doing so much damage to me. Is that a plane, bro? Um, yo, dude. Please! Oh my goodness, this music might be too loud. I'll try to deal some damage for you guys. I can tank it. Even though I have two more hearts left, I can try to tank it. And looks like this Jason guy is almost half health. I got you. I'm coming in. I got you. Oh my goodness, bro. How do we beat this guy? Bro, what is this plane? Why didn't I move out? I have no clue. I literally have a dash ability right here. Oh my goodness. Um, looks like this guy's down right now. Uh, okay, never mind. So yeah, I got destroyed by this boss. Anyways, I explored the shop over here, which sells more characters and also weapons, which I was too broke to buy. After the game was over, we then tried to fight a much easier boss, which was this teapot guy, and this boss was much more manageable. This guy kind of looks easy to kite out, you just have to go in a circle, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, this guy is actually really easy to dodge, look at that. Pretty much just go in a circle and you should be okay. Ooh, what are those saw blades? Oh, that got uh, turned into a teapot or something. Also, wait, what are these black lines here? I don't know. I got pwned! I still have two more lives left, so I am okay on that. We can just kite this guy out very easily. We just have to dodge his attacks. Ooh! Oh god, my teammate died. Really? Oh, I got touched by a saw blade! He has a thousand health, though. Yeah, after observing his boss, the moveset was pretty much shoot out some teapots, and the way you dodge this guy's attacks is going clockwise or counterclockwise around the boss. However, these saw blades on the ground were the most annoying thing ever, especially since they kept changing directions and being a huge threat. Ooh! I cannot touch the saw blades or I die. Yo, he's laughing there. Oh, I apparently got killed. What? That was actually a really good attempt, man. So that was Outlaws of Robloxia. The idea of the game is amazing. I love the boss battles and the uniqueness of the bosses. And I also love the visuals and the classic Roblox feel it has. Overall, I'll play this game again and you guys should definitely check it out. And boys, our next game is called Crossovers. A game developed by Snapshot Studios and it is a fighting game, except you play as characters from other Roblox games. Yeah, Crossovers guys. We have play credits setting some other stuff. Let's play on this play button here. And okay, let's see over here. Bacon from Roblox, Noob from Roblox, Brick Battler from Doomspire, some some chestnut, bro. Let's go ahead and pick this noob here as our character. And okay, let's see over here. H2 show controls. Click to attack, G to swap movesets, number to attack, Q to dash, right? We have SmackDown. We have the speed coil. Oh! Oh, I just killed myself. Yeah, let me respawn here. I have Feed the Noob. And I also have a Wave Emote, which is a parry. But okay, let's go up ahead, right? Hello there, sir. Um. Oh! I thought I was gonna be friendly with me. Did I just kill myself again? Yeah, I swear I didn't do that on purpose. But anyways, after spawning back in and learning some of the movesets and combos, I was able to get a better feel for the game. We're gonna speed coil him. We're gonna feed the nuke here. I ate him. Are we banging this guy right now? Let's go. This guy's going up though. He's trying to get away. Come here. I'm gonna parry him. Never mind. <laughs> Dude, I'm trying to parry this guy's move even though he doesn't do anything. 
Come back here. Let me feed the noob. I ate him again. Nice. Apparently got like two badges. I don't know what those badges are. There's actually a guy right over here. We can actually spawn camp him. Oh! Dude, this guy hit us with like a mine part or something like that, dude. Let me try to feed the noob. He's parried down. That made no sense what I just said. I meant to say he's downed. Oh, and I killed myself again! So that was Crossovers. A fun fighting game that implements Roblox characters from around the web. And just putting it out there, I'm not really a fighting game kind of guy, but I actually thought this game was very fun. And boys, our next random game on Roblox is called Built vs. Blocks. A game developed by Roblox Group Built vs. Blocks official group, this game is a lane tower defense game. We're kind of similar to like Plants vs. Zombies, but in this case, Built vs. Blocks. You guys will see what I mean. And okay, um, we're here in this game right now. And wait, what is this thing? Is this, is this actually the GUI the game has? Dude, let's look on this uh, play button here. Okay, I'm guessing these guys are the enemies, so let's go ahead and put this thing right there as our, uh, our starting unit. Let's click on the Let's Blocks button. We have to place that guy right there. That's going to be our uh, our units covering this lane here. I'm guessing this is kind of similar to like Plants vs. Zombies or something, but in Roblox. Oh, I see him. Look at that. Nice, my unit's actually getting them. A huge wave of blocks is coming. Final wave. Oh god damn, they're all coming on my lane. They're all coming on this lane here. This guy's about to be off cooldown. We can actually do this thing. There we go. Dude, we're actually putting in a lot of work right now. This guy's about to die. Nice. Oh, and what is that? Basic builder produces studs. And okay, we have our next level over here. With all these guys trying to attack us. Of course, let's put this guy here, this guy over here, and let's blocks. Apparently, this guy will produce studs for us for, like, maybe currency or something. Let's see. We might as well just make one more, right? The more the merrier. We can keep collecting these blocks here. Look, this guy actually made one for us. Let's actually place this guy, like, uh, right here, right? So then once we get 50, we can place another one right there. These guys will keep making money for us. Huh? I did not mean to place that guy there, but you know what? Who cares? If they're gonna make money for us, they're gonna make money for us. Let's keep placing uh, more of these uh, throwing guys here. Two seconds later. I think we need one more layer of these throwers here. Final wave. A huge wave is coming. Oh, yo, look at this thing. It's literally Plants vs. Zombies. Hell yeah. Oh, I think that's it. I got some sort of trowel wall. Protects your buildings from blocks and blocking them off. Okay, cool. So that was Build vs. Blocks. A great tower lane defense game. I love the classic look to the game and how it feels alive. I also love the GUI to this game as well. Overall, very solid game that is worth checking out. So the next random game we have is called Token Traveler Corrupted Entity. A game developed by Roblox user Creatorium, but it is a game based on collecting these tokens that are scattered around the whole entire world of Token Traveler. Okay, yeah, Token Traveler. I will just click the start game because like that's what we're trying to do, right? Okay, guessing this is like the spawn area where everything uh, begins. Bloxine, have you seen a town? Do question mark? It's supposed to protect us from all sorts of evil and now some other stuff. Itself from the corrupt identity, some help. Okay, yeah, got it. Before anything, let's just click this button. There's a backstage with a jump block, speed run or two, some like underground stuff. Let's go to it. All right, looks like you get teleported somewhere. Let's just go inside this uh, jump blocks area, which I've actually seen over here. Jump blocks. I'm guessing the course is pretty straightforward. You just go along this path and keep going. Maybe a little bit of parkour action as well. I'll we'll say there's some spikes over here. Pretty easy to like jump over. Also another checkpoint here. I'm guessing we uh, climb on this thing. Yes, we do. Let's just wall wrap there and keep going. And okay, what is this level here? It looks like we have to click on this like this red button. And okay, um, where do I even go from here? I'm pretty sure you go this way, right? You go this way here. If you really think about it, I think I just skipped like the entire level. You weren't really supposed to do that. But hey, I'll take it because I'm like that, you know what I'm saying? So right off the bat, I love how easy it is to navigate through the level. It's very straightforward. No confusing parts or anything like that. I also like how there's NPCs in the game with dialogue to help you out with some of the story. And I also like the fun puzzles in the game, such as this one right over here. 4537. I think this might be some sort of code, right? 
Oh wait, no, I know what we had to do. I'm guessing we had to bring the block all the way over there. So uh, let's click on this purple block. Then we're gonna click on the uh, blue block like so. Next one is red, green, then another blue. Red again. Oh, the green's gonna get activated. Never mind. Let's click on this red one. And then the purple one. 20 seconds. And already, we are here in the next level. Also, there's a token right over here. You got a token. Token one is jump blocks. And looks like I just killed myself. Okay, cool. So that was Token Traveler, Corrupted Entity. I always love games where you have to go around the world and collect things. I also like how the game looks simple or kind of classic, like old school. And overall, pretty solid game. I would say it's worth checking out.